Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we've got a short video about backboxing uh, that answers one of the common questions we've been getting recently. So, uh, backboxing is vacuum boxing. We'll talk more about that in a second. But the question that you guys have been asking is, we're testing these to see if they're airtight and watertight. To do that, we have to drill a hole to put an air test fitting in. So we finish that, it's airtight, we remove the air fitting, and now there's still a big hole there. How do we verify that that hole is airtight? So at that step, what we do is we thread in uh, a plug. It's a solid plug. The Navy used hollow plugs and they've completely failed. Once we put the plug in, we weld it in place. The Navy plugs were not welded with the intention that you could unthread them and put an air test fitting in so you don't have to drill a hole every time you do this. But 10% of the Navy plugs failed and 0% of them were at a point where they could be unthreaded. So we ended up having to drill 160 new holes anyway. We don't want these to fail. So we're welding them over and next time we'll just plan on drilling holes from the beginning. Like I said, we use solid plugs instead of the hollow plugs that the Navy used that failed. We weld them in place. But then how do we guarantee that that weld is perfect? That's where vac boxing comes in. A vac box is, uh, it's got a flat lid that's plexiglass. It's got an air hose with a gauge coming off of it. And uh, it's got a rim that's made out of foam. So you start your air compressor, you put your vac box on there, and it will like vacuum seal to the steel. The foam gasket will compress and hold it in place. And so the, the air pressure is pumping that up full of pressure, much like how the original test, we were putting pressure in it to see if it blew holes. Now, prior to putting the back box on, you spray the area you wanna test with soapy water. So that when you put the back box on and it starts drawing a vacuum, you will see it drawing air from inside, pulling it through the soapy water, which would then blow bubbles, which you can see through the clear plexiglass lid. If you see something like that, you know it's not airtight. And we've had uh, two of the 160 of these, I believe, fail when we've done the vac box testing. It's just another example of the Musan being as belt and suspenders as possible so that we can guarantee that everything will remain watertight for another 30 years until we can raise the money to do another major project like this again. There's been a large misconception that part of this process of air testing the blanks is invasive drill testing to figure out how thick the hull is. And that's completely wrong because these blanks are not the actual hull. These are quarter inch plates. They're less than half as thick as the rest of the hull around it. So drilling this hole tells us nothing about how thick the steel is there. To do that, we do a separate test known as ultrasonic testing. That is non-invasive. We do not have to drill holes. Although in the past, when the Navy did testing like that, sometimes they would drill holes and use a, a gauge to see how thick the plate is. We're not doing that to our artifact. These things that are added on and that will be cut off if we ever turn the ship into an operational vessel again uh, are not as much of an artifact. It's also worth pointing out that every single through hole opening has two valves on the inside. It's got double protection on the inside, except for one the through hull opening for the EM log or pit sword, the speedometer that sticks through the bottom of the ship. That has a single valve on it. So if we were gonna come into or out of port somewhere where we needed to seal all this, there's also a watertight door to access that trunk that we would have to seal. And that's our double wall thickness for that, uh, for that opening. So if you wanna see these through hole openings for yourselves and how they're blanked over, how we've been testing them. You've got about a month left 
There are tickets available at the link in the description below. We recently made some more available because we had sold out. So if you've been unable to get them in the past, go and check out the uh, link below. We've got some extra dates that uh, might work out for you. We'd love to see you here in the dry dock. Your ticket sales and your donations go into supporting dry docking the battleship. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.